plane. I'm in the plane. And the girl stewardess is like, you know, you're experiencing slight turbulence. So stay in your seats. The light signal, you know, the light signal thing that goes on. And, you know, I, I can deal with turbulence. But not when it's like, <laughs> and then we drop. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm scared. And you know, turbulences. And then they said we'd have to land. And then Captain Sully, he didn't know what the fuck he was doing, obviously. Thank God, thank God, Justin Bieber was on the flight with us. Because he took control of that cockpit and landed us to safety on the water, I might add. That's weird. Moral of the story is, I'm tired of turning on the news and going to the mall and looking through a magazine and seeing that kid's face. Oh my god. Go away. Yes, I'm jealous of his money. Next order of business. <laughs> Another product that I bought in the USA. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gonna fill for the YouTube. Buy us some crackers and cracker jacks. Why am I singing a baseball song? Cause I can't sing for the life of me. Seriously though, guys, take me out to the ball game because classic American hot dog potato chips. Excuse me. Yeah, see that? Oh, it's value size. No freaking way. Hers classic American hot dog. Artificially. Look, there's a thing of uh, mustard. And a thing of ketchup. Open these puppies, shall we? I like you guys. I like doing this together. It's like a thing we have now. When I try something, I want you, you two delicious, to be in the same room as me. Oh, check this out. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put you down, camera. Because you want to see the joy or the horror on my face. Good me to the. Hmm. Not bad. I think to experience this potato chip, I have to role play. Here at the ball game. Yeah, I love a hot dog. Yeah, and a beer too. Here's my hot dog. Okay, that's enough for role playing. I can't fucking see. Let me try one of these hot dogs. Four fifty for a hot dog. Okay, too much into role play. You know, guys, this channel should really be called "Watch Albie Eat Stuff." Mm. It's good. I like it. God. Mm. Good stuff. This is my, my junk food placement for the day. Harris, I will expect a check from you in the mail. Oh my god, I love when you read the back of these bags. Take a bite of this iconic American flavor sensation, Harris Hot Dogs Potato Chips. Harris takes the finest potatoes and cooks them in pure vegetable oil to a golden crispy crunch. <laughs> then we sprinkle them. Do you see I had salt in my fingers? Did you see that? Did you see that? We sprinkle them with just the right amount of seasoning. We hope you enjoy. Oh. And just to show that they're not fucking around, Ed Hare grabbed a pen and signed this bag of chips. He's serious. He really cares.
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there's a second segment to this video. Yes, I do watch the Jim Westwood show. Um, Jim Westwood, who, to answer your question, I'm reading Cole's notes off my cell phone because I don't want to miss a thing. Okay, Jim Westwood writes, I got a question for you. Who drives the car? Morgan Freeman. Jessica Tandy fired his no. I have a roommate. I just so yeah, roomie friend. I don't drive because me behind the wheel of anything is a god awful idea. You should see the footage of me driving the go karts in Disney World. Enough said. No more questions, Your Honor. All right, next question. Do you know how some people think there are parallel universes? I think me and you this is so romantic are in parallel universes. We're both white. We are. Me and Jim Westwood are both Caucasian males. Both fair skinned. Um, single and working temping in a warehouse. And we both don't have children because we're smart and we know better. That's horrible. I'm sorry. No. We don't have kids. And we're both on the YouTubes. Yeah. You guys know Jim Westwood, right? No? Well, you should. What else does this kid want to know? Oh my god. I just went to the wrong email. See, now I gotta press the refresh on my cell phone. You see what you're doing? Oh my god. I have more questions. Have I ever gotten a check from Google yet? Glad you asked, typical politician. I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, Jimothy Westwee. Je I was trying to think, do something cute with your name. It's not fucking working. No, I haven't received a check from Google. Although, they did ask me some stuff to get my monetization. So, apparently they owe me some money. I'm talking like under 20 bucks. Not like, woo! You know, not going to paint the town magenta or anything anytime soon with a paintbrush. Besides, no, no check from Google. Do I have a favorite character from Sesame Street? Well, since my name is Albert, you're expecting me to say Bert. And that's not the case. I don't know who my favorite. You know, actually, if I had to choose, I don't know my favorite. Probably, I think Grover. Remember as a kid, I had a little golden book. That's the the publishing company that publishes the books and I had a book about Grover I was like Grover he had a cool cape and he was weird and eccentric he was like Gonzo only without the big schnoz he had a cute little red schnoz so Grover I liked Cookie Monster too there's a lot of it Elmo's cool too you know, like Elmo Cookie Monster Grover if I can't choose all three I'm just gonna go with Grover and am I a Jedi well, my imaginary lightsaber. No, I'm not a Jedi. Just because my channel, Earl, says Obi Wan Kenobi. Truth be told, I just thought it sounded cool. I'm not even that big of a Star Wars nerd at all. I'm not even really into sci fi. Don't click unsubscribe, people. So, yeah, you're not going to find me at Comic Con or something. Or the Con. Yeah, not a Jedi. I'm just really really wise and multifaceted YouTuber so it seems like I have Jedi powers but not really that's just a ploy to so I can get a discount on capes and pretend lightsabers at Toys R Us anyways any more questions you can just go right ahead I'll be right here